Another exam question on the redox titration topic. So we're up to number eight now. I'm calling this a tricky units one because, well, you'll see when you do the question. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start then. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you notice in the overall equation, you've got twos in front of the MN species. So we'll, we'll double this equation and then we can compare what we've got to what we need in the overall equation. Okay, so we'll literally just work our way across, compare to this, and then that'll establish what we need. So 2MNO4 minus, that's fine. 6H plus in the overall, but we've got 16 here. So I'm going to put 10H plus on the right-hand side. So when we add these together, this will go down to 6. Next thing, 5H2O2. So obviously that needs to go there. Obviously there's no electrons in the overall equation, so we're going to need 10 electrons on this side to deal with those. So we'll move on to the products now. So 2MN2+, 8H2O, 5O2 is missing. Question one's the simplest whole number half equation. So you can see we can divide everything through by five. So that's our answer. So moving on to the calculation now, I've got one of my trusty diagrams just to picture what's going on here. And obviously I've copied up the equation as well. So we need the ratio between the MnO4 minus and the H2O2. We also need this ratio as well because we've got to do a calculation on the volume of oxygen that this reaction would produce at RTP. Okay, so the first thing we can do is work out the moles of KmnO4 or MnO4 minus ions that's been involved in the titration. So that's just concentration times volume in decimeters cubed, 4.69 times 10 to the minus four. Next thing, we'll apply the mole ratio. So we know that, we wanna know the moles of hydrogen peroxide. So it's five over two times. So that's coming out at 1.1725 times 10 to the minus three. Obviously they're the moles of hydrogen peroxide in this 25 cm cubed sample. We wanna know how many moles are in here. So obviously that's just 10 times that. So 1.1725 times 10 to the minus two in the 250. Now this is where I think the diagrams come in handy because if we think about, we know the moles of hydrogen peroxide in here. How did they get in there? Well, this original 25 cm cubed was poured in there and then that was made up to 250. So the moles that we've just calculated in here are the moles of hydrogen peroxide in that 25 cm cubed undiluted solution. So the next part is where I think the questions are a little bit awkward because normally we would calculate a concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, whereas this question wants it in grams per decimeter cubed. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to work out the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, and then I'm going to multiply by the MR of hydrogen peroxide, and that'll tell me how many grams I would have in the decimeter cubed. So concentration of hydrogen peroxide in moles per decimeter cubed, that's Moles divided by volume in decimeters cubed, 0.469. And the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed is the moles times the MR, 15.9. And then to finish off, we've got to calculate the volume of oxygen that's been produced by this reaction at RTP. So as the equation again, we've already worked out there's that many moles of MnO4 minus ions. There's already that many moles of hydrogen peroxide. So the easiest thing to do is just look at the ratio, five to five, so the moles of oxygen produced will be the same as the moles of the hydrogen peroxide. Now the question doesn't specify which units it wants the volume of oxygen in, so I'm gonna multiply by the molar gas volume in decimeters cubed, so I'm multiplying this by 24, which gives me a volume of oxygen at RTP of 0 0.0281 decimeters cubed. If you've gone for centimetres cubed as your volume, you just multiply by 24,000 there, and obviously you'd get 28.1 centimetres cubed. 